our next adventure is going to take us to the uh, uh, the ginger, the crema casa, and the peach ginger jam. Moving into the crema casa, um, our owner said uh, he likes to say that there's three ways that you come up with a new cheese. Plan it, you experiment, and the best ones are an accident. And crema casa was one of those accidents. Um, one day, our agitator broke down and all of the cream rose to the top of the vat to make uh, the cream of casa, and then the bottom half made a low, a low fat cheese. We were trying to make fontina that day. Um, so now we add um, a, a little bit more cream to the vat um, when we make this one. So it's nice, buttery, mild, really approachable cheese. I like to use this as almost a dessert cheese. Um, so we like to put it, pair it with jam, which is um, fit, very fitting for this pairing. Um, we also like to put some chocolate over it, um, and we really like this pairing because the butteriness really enhanced the ginger flavor with the cracker. Okay. Well, I think this is a great pairing with our ginger. This is um, our ginger biscuit is one of our three new flavors, and uh, we just launched it uh, two months ago. So we're really excited about that, and I think it goes really well. The ginger. It's a pretty strong ginger. It has um, ginger and, and caramelized ginger in the, the dough, uh, little pieces of it, um, and some molasses. But we didn't go with the traditional sort of what you would think in a ginger cookie. We went actually with more of a pepperiness to it. So it's got a real spicy kick. And I like how um, the, um, the crema casa um, just that, that's a really nice complimentary um, uh, pairing of the two. And then, you know, peach and ginger and, and Bonnie's, but I'll let Bonnie talk to that. But uh, I think it's a real nice overlay of a little bit of sweetness and citrus. Well, I couldn't uh, resist using my peach ginger jam with um, Effie's uh, ginger, new ginger cookie uh, or um, biscuit, sorry. Um, and found that the pairing really worked well with the creamy cheese. You know, the ginger does have that spiciness and um, the crunch of the cookie and, and my, the peach, peaches and the ginger, which are, have a great consistency to them, uh, just seem to work really well with that, with that cheese. Um, you know, peach, the reason I came up with the ginger with the peach is that Peaches can be sort of bland when a little sweet, but a little bland when they're when they're cooked and made into um, a, a jam. And so I, I added the ginger some time ago and it actually added to the gel. Um, I don't use any pectin in my fruit jam. So I really need to get, have something, give them a little bit of body, a little bit of gel. Um, and I don't use much sugar. So I'm depending on the flavor of the combination that I have to actually make the jam taste good. And the, this, a creamy casa just seems to go really well with it. it. It's a kind of foil for both of these. And then that crunch of the biscuit with that um, actually, uh, again, gives you the ginger flavor uh, it's just, a, I think it's just sort of a great match. So um, this one really worked, really, really worked well for me. I and, agree. Yeah, thank you. I was, I was just going to comment that um, the ginger and, um, and, and peaches are a classic, just a classic combination. Um, and when we did our cheese tastings here, when we came up with these new flavors, we came up with very buttery cheeses do fabulous with our biscuit, the ginger biscuit. So when we paired this together, I'm like, this is perfect. This is a nice little dessert. If you if you ask me, this would be the perfect way to end a meal. We have nice creamy cheese on a biscuit that has a bit of a bite, that gingery bite, and that delicious apricot, excuse me, uh, peach jam on top. Great combination. It was a nice, nice combination. So thank you. I wonder if you could do some kind of a baked dish, Joan, where you would totally. crunch Ooh. up the biscuits with that ginger and use that with a little butter um, and make a, um, a, a, a kind of 
uh, like a graham cracker, cracker. right? Yeah. Graham yeah. cracker crust. That was all biscuits. our biscuits. Yeah, mix something the cheese with something egg and a little cream, maybe. Maybe and some ricotta, ricotta or uh, mm -hmm. mascarpone. Mm -hmm. We could make yeah. a nice peach kind of um, peach jam on top of that. Yeah. Um, but all of our biscuits make a fabulous pie crust, and we do that often. And if you go to our website, not that I'm here to sell just us, but we do do that. Um, they make a very, very bright and a nice alternative to a simple crust. It makes it a little bit, takes it again to another level. So it's a lot of fun. You could do that uh, with uh, an apple pie, put in, use your crust and put some of the peach ginger uh, jam in the apples, toss them around and bake them. Oh, that's an idea. That mm -hmm. good. Oh, that's an idea, that's Bonnie. An idea. Yeah. The collaboration cream continues. Or a little whipped cream on that. There we go. Or a little slice of crema casa. Or crema and crema casa. Exactly. Okay. Well, you know, one of the questions that I have is that, you know, I've been enjoying these gingers uh, a lot. Uh, ginger is one of my favorites. Uh, you know, I, I do bourbon and ginger. I have ginger, uh, all kinds of things. And there's a, um, a gooiness in here, uh, like a, like a, maybe a, a piece of ginger or molasses or something where mm -hmm. it's actually su substance in here. And uh, that, that really gives it a lot of full flavors. So, uh, you know, having the cheese and, uh, you know, having just enough. And I agree with you about the, the uh, peach. I love peach, uh, you know, so uh, we have the crema casa, the Effie's ginger, and Bonnie's ginger or peach ginger. So, uh, and, uh, you know, again, uh, I think that this is just a great pairing. There's so much going on here, you know, and a lot of times I like to have something uh, that, that goes completely off the rails, uh, you know, something that you wouldn't think that would go with it. But in this case, everything just works so well together. Everything just comes together that it's just a fabulous pairing. It is breakfast, dessert, lunch, dinner. I agree, Michael. I just wanted to clarify. It is crystallized pieces of ginger in there. Okay. Yeah. And um, you may notice that these biscuits are a little bit thicker than our original oat cakes um, so that we could have these inclusions in there because I just felt like that kick of the chewy ginger is a nice lingering piece as you finish up one of these biscuits. So um, just wanted to comment on that. Yeah, uh, I, uh, that's, that was, that was kind of like, you, you have that, that spicy heat of the ginger really well in here. And so that translates, actually, you know, the uh, peach ginger kind of tones it down a little bit, cools it off, but the cheese just brings out all the, richness flavors from everything so it's that's that's such a nice direction to go so far that's my favorite but then again you know i love ginger so that's uh one mm -hmm. of the things all right 